Hey, this is the one and only VGDS, and you're watching Linda, aka The Gamer Girl. One thing when living in Vegas, it was a surreal thing to be able to bumper to bumper traffic whenever you were anywhere in this whole strip. It was always constantly you never you it took you an hour to move how I'm moving you see how dead it is right now I am wondering how the arcades are doing right now and how any like the pinball hall of fame is doing because yes the casinos are important and yes you know the, the restaurants are important but the one thing that I always think about is for the retro gaming community in general is what's gonna happen if all the stuff that is in the local area closes you know closes and does its thing so that's my one thing is just wondering what's going to happen to that so we're just going to show you some shots of all that is the strip so you just you can enjoy the ride This never happens. There's bikers on the strip. This never happens. That's how quiet it is on the strip right now where you can have your family take a just a stroll on the strip. All the locals are enjoying the strip for the first time in like a long time. Well guys, I finished the strip in literally like 10 minutes. That is a first for me ever. I don't think I've ever been here and it's been like a 10 minute drive. So I hope you enjoyed the strip when it's quiet for the first time. Hey guys, what's going on? Linda AK The Gamer Girl here and I wanted to show you a mom and pop game store. So if you visit Vegas, which they are starting to let a go of the restrictions for some of the stores, there's mom and pop shops like Game Repair. They do console repairs and they have a bunch of retro games. So I wanted to showcase this store because it's it's been not getting some love from the governor. Um, they put this in like phase two. So they've been closed for a long time. So I wanted to showcase it, get you guys some feedback on what they have in there. And yeah, man, let's give some love to these retro mom and pop stores again.
unique game repair. They do disinfect everything, so it's a limit five per people. If you want to do curbside, call them up. They will come out and meet you at the car if you don't feel comfortable. And they do, if you call in, they will tell you what they have for their inventory as far as like PS1, PS2, whatever you're picking up. But uh, I did pick up some stuff, guys. I did get me another battery for my PSP 1000. They do have backup batteries and stuff like that. I did pick up one game. They had Blade. I wanted Blade for like the longest time. Um, and they do resurface discs. If you ever get a bad disc and you want to try to get that resurfaced, they will do that for you. And one thing that I've been looking for forever, a decent case for my PS2. They had one. It's got the strap. It's got everything. It looks great inside. It doesn't look like it was worn too much. So it was a good day. I found a game that I've been looking for, a case that I've been looking for, and I also found a battery that I've been looking for because my PSP is like acting up with the battery. It keeps draining really fast, so I think that it needs a new one. But yeah, guys, it was a good day to retro game hunt <laughs> at a mom and pop shop. Check out Game Repair whenever you get a chance if you visit Vegas. And remember, mom and pop shops are still out there. They're struggling. Show them some love before Best Buy any day of the week. This is Linda A.K. The Gamer Girl. And I'm going to drop a link for their website down below so you can check them out. Remember, keep on gaming, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda The Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda The Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.